Hello everyone, welcome to the Season 2 Battle Pass of Brawlhalla. Before we dive in, let me put on some music for you guys real quick. Better. Today I will be reviewing and discussing some things you need to know whether or not you are interested in this Battle Pass. Before I can give my thoughts of it, I'm going to show you every single reward from the Battle Pass page.
that is every single reward you can get and the free tier of rewards offers the basic rewards that you get but where the real meat and potatoes is is in the paid pass itself thematically everything looks and feels the way it's supposed to be they went for that synthwave theme and that the avatars taunts and skins all go for that theme the feeling of the synthwave environment is apparent and present and it looks beautiful things they added to the pass i will point out is the great sword skin at the end great sword wasn't out at the time of the season one pass and it wouldn't be right if they forgot great sword in this pass the other thing they added was an additional animated weapon at tier 65 you get this animated orb skin in the previous battle pass you only got four animated weapon skins and now you get five and to top it all off you get an additional avatar should you complete everything for the battle pass these small things add more bang to your buck and you really are getting a sweet deal when you purchase this battle pass now on to the missions and tier progressions in the previous season for me personally I was able to level up my patch and podium progression relatively easy however with these different missions there's a different variety and add and adds a challenge to the player the thing about these progression missions is they seem challenging to casuals and non-casuals however they are not difficult at all the only difficult part about them is they will take time to do and you gain these naturally so there is no downside to these you are doing what the battle pass wants you to do spend time to gain your rewards currently at the time of this video only the week one missions are out from a glance they are easy or moderately challenging depending on your view on them the future missions i can guess will be like this and the ones for the latter missions will increase in difficulty due to that new avatar for completion my closing thoughts for this battle pass review for the price of $10, I rate this a 9.5 out of 10. The previous pass, I rate an 8.5 out of 10, simply because it served as the introduction of how Brawlhalla Battle Passes will be carried out. This time, it seems they had more creativity in their designs, and it shows. They wanted to show us what they can do, and it was really well done, and I highly recommend you purchase this pass when you get the chance. A little thing I will point out that I caught in the Season 1 pass is if you want to change your daily mission got this bar right well you don't even have to go to that bar you can just go right here click your mission replace done instant like that and I had a gripe about the previous pass and this one too it's not readily apparent by some but it's a thing that I noticed is that you can't purchase it with the Mammoth Coins, you can only purchase it off the Steam Store, Xbox Store, whatever platform you're on. Personally, I would like to purchase my Battle Pass with Mammoth Coins, however, the way that you purchase it is fine nonetheless. And that'll be my review on the Battle Pass. Let me know what you guys think, and catch y'all later.